Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. In a previous video, I made a replacement gib strip for the lathe. Now a gib strip is a pretty simple thing to make. It's just a parallelogram and it should be very easy to make using a chamfer or inverse dovetail cutter. However, now that I have the mill, it should be pretty easy to go ahead and make one on the mill and it should be a lot cheaper than buying one off the shelf. Because these tools will see limited work in brass, the main body will be made from some mild steel and the cutter will be these TCMT inserts. With the shaft completed, I'll swap the forejaw for a collet chuck and take the head to final dimension. We can now move to the mill to cut out the recess for the insert. My V-blocks have yet to turn up, so the part was held in place by a V-groove in the vice jaws and a lot of care was taken to get the part facing perfectly vertical. Now without a DRO, accounting for backlash when making small cuts is a pretty challenging exercise at times, but it's a really great way to get to learn the mill. The final job to do is take the tool back to the lathe and make a small chamfer and back relief for the carbide tool. Finally, we can screw in the insert and the part is pretty much finished. For being a tool that I made pretty much off the cuff, measuring as I went, and considering that it was my second project on the new mill, I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. The part was within tolerances, but there was a lot of stuff that I could have improved on. For one, I forgot to lock the slide, which resulted in those lines you could see in the cutout. However, the tool cut very nicely and the gib strips worked out really nice, which is really what I was aiming for. Anyway, I had a lot of fun on this project, I learned quite a lot about the new mill, and with that, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, see you next time.